Wait, Kerchak, please. You don't understand. I was only trying to. Ah, a snake slithered by. You see, I saved that poor gorilla's life. Heroes and heroines of all ages. When the world tells you to get a life, you're always welcome at the 1UP block. My name is Dan the Man, your host, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Kingdom Hearts. When we last left off, uh, we weren't in a cutscene, that's for damn sure, I'm sorry. I kind of goofed up on that one, but I just started the recording immediately as the cutscene started. Uh, you didn't miss anything, I literally paused it as soon as it happened. So you got the full cutscene, but all we did from the last episode, or all I did on accident while trying to look for a save station, was I came to the treehouse and it made the cutscene happen. But with that out of the way, we are going to hop down here again, take the shortcut because I don't need to do the minigame right now. Uh, actually, we can't do the minigame until we complete the world, unfortunately, but hey, it's Sabor again. Hey, buddy. You know, I was just wondering when's the next time I get to fight Sabor, and here you are. So, if there's one thing I can recommend to new players, uh, is use magic at the beginning, at least, in, well, use magic all the time to make things more convenient for yourself, but in the beginning when Sora's kind of weak as piss, use magic, it makes things a lot easier. And that's, that's probably a pretty obvious thing to say, but like, I, as a kid I never used the magic. I, I figured it was, I had to go too far out of my way to press L1 and shoot magic that I just never bothered with it. But magic actually makes your life a hell of a lot easier, especially on proud mode where it takes out enemies faster for you. So uh, yeah, you know, take that with a grain of salt. Now we just need to go back to the bamboo, the bamboo, we need to go back to the tent where we will confront Clayton about, you know, trying to shoot Rosie O'Donnell. I mean, I know a lot of people hate Rosie O'Donnell, but come on, man, that's, that's kind of, that's rude. Don't stoop to her level. <laughs> uh, we did miss a, um, a Trinity up in the treetops, but we're going to be going back up there anyway later, so... I don't know if there's a cutscene here, but... How could you do such a thing? Now, Miss Porter, as I told you, I was not aiming at the gorilla. You are not to go near the gorillas again. Oh, because of one mishap. Come now. Huh? <laughs> yeah. What am I doing with these imbeciles? Blasted gorillas! I'll hunt down every last one of them! I'll track them down somehow. I'll stake my life on it. Hmm? Well, that sure as hell wasn't good. What the hell did he just shoot? Let's go figure it out. Because that's our job, you see. Heartless. And here we're introduced to the Bouncy Wilds. Where did that monkey go from the cutscene just now? I don't know. It disappeared into the ether. And then it reappears out of nowhere. Protect G. Alright, so... It doesn't really tell you what you're supposed to do at this point, but you're supposed to go to each and every area where Heartless can spawn, and you're going to be protecting... Uh, not protecting. You're going to be saving gorillas in that area. Uh, the Heartless we just fought were monkeys that are called... Uh, Power Wilds, I think. They're really irritating. They have this little dash attack where they slide at you, and then they have this attack where they jump and do a little swipe. If you block either of them, you'll get tech points, but for the most part, you just want to try and shoot magic at them to kick their ass. That's really all the advice I can give for you. Just shoot some blizzards. Hopefully you'll hit like five of them. Because if you don't, then I mean, that that's life, I suppose. Uh, if It's pretty funny. If you actually hit one of them, like if you block their attack when they're doing the slide, uh, you'll hurt their toes and they'll start bouncing around holding their foot, which is a nice touch. I thought that was pretty funny. Of course, I'm only going to be showing these, like, right now. 
because, you know, I need to show off the bouncy wilds for a little bit. I'm going to show these off and then the next areas and then the rest are going to be cut out because you guys don't want to see me grind for experience. And again, we have more bouncy wilds. Try to uh, use your magic to the best as you can. Exploit the shit out of it because it'll make uh, getting rid of these guys. Well, I guess I don't really have to cut it if it's just going to take me a few seconds to use Blizzard and kick their balls. Getting some more uh, gummy pieces, which is always fan freaking tastic. I will take it. You shouldn't run out of uh, magic, and if you do, then beating the crap out of them is also a good idea. Like, it's never, it's not a bad idea to beat the shit out of them. It's just quicker to use like a uh, blizzard, you know. This one might actually take a little while because now heartless. If you noticed at the beginning of the level, the heartless weren't spawning. The heartless don't actually spawn in this place until you do the proper cutscene, which is the one where Clayton shoots his gun for the first time and scares the shit out of us. Uh, after that, Heartless can start spawning. However, I believe Zabor has a chance of spawning all the time, even when there's no Heartless. So, be wary. You will probably have to do a lot of mini boss fights. Uh, here we have more shadows. And we have a new enemy, who is also native to this area. She's called a Bouncy Wild. Do not touch her bananas. Her bananas will make you lose your money, like, like, like that. Like that, Goofy. What the hell? What was I just saying? <laughs> But, you know, shoot some magic at them and they'll go down pretty fast, too. They're really nothing to worry about, just like the Bouncy Wilds. Uh, if you try to do the physical attack only and don't use magic, killing these guys can be kind of a pain in the dick, so I don't recommend not using magic. Uh, and if you need to, since, like, I'm out of magic right now. Oh, did you see that? He started jumping and hopping and holding his foot. It's adorable. It's the nice little touches that help. Hey! And Goopy is making sure I can't touch him. And Bouncy Wilds appear. You want to take them out as fast as possible. Uh, really, the only way to do that is to try and follow up with a magic attack. If you have magic, use magic instead because they are pretty fast and they drop bananas. And they're generally really irritating. I'm going to try to beat the shit out of you right now. I wish I had the magic. Oh, there we go. There we go. And I got a power shard. Fantastic. Donald's dead. I don't know how the hell he died, but because we're out of magic, I'm going to come into the tent real quick. You can use healing spots to regenerate all your MP and health, obviously. You do want to stay healthy, because, I mean, who the hell doesn't want to stay healthy? Okie dokie then. So, I think from now on, whenever I cut because I'm fighting stuff, I'm not going to show the actual cut. I'm going to, uh... I'm not, I mean, I'm going to show the cut, obviously. <laughs> There's no way I can not show the cut. Uh, what I'm not going to do is I'm not going to be like, okay, be right back, guys. Because if I had to say be right back for every group of Heartless I had to start fighting, you would probably get really pissed off at me and be annoyed. So I'm just going to do the jump. I'm going to shut up if I see a group of Heartless that I want to fight, and I'll just do the jump cut. But that's enough exposition. Because now, exposition. <laughs> uh, we... Right now, we're just looking for monkeys still, so we do need to climb up here. I don't know what the hell I was thinking. There's also a Trinity Mark up here, if I'm not mistaken. So that's fantastic. Beat the shit out of these damn monkeys. Use Blizzard again, because Blizzard is a fantastic move right now. It's a shotgun-type attack, so it's easy for taking out a big group of people. Which I should have used there, but, you know, it's all about picking the right times to use your attacks, and I'm not picking the right times. Oh, you dick. At least I didn't waste my magic. And we got Aurora Gaji. Later it'll be easier for me to take out uh, groups of Heartless without really having to cut away, hopefully. If it if it takes me too long, I'm going to cut away from it, because obviously you guys don't want to see me beat the shit out of stuff for like 30 minutes. Or maybe you do, because I mean that really is all that a Kingdom Hearts Let's Play is. Uh, Treetop. We do need to go to... We need to go to the, oh god, the treehouse, which I think is actually through here, right? Yeah, this, this is the treehouse. The treetops is not where we need to go. Let's get this trinity. Trinity, I burped, sorry. It is a Thundara G, fantastic. I don't know if I told you guys either, but if you go to your journal, you can actually look at uh, the puppies. And if you press triangle on this page, it shows you how many puppies you have left to find in these worlds. So that's fantastic. You can use that if you're missing some puppies in some worlds. 
and go on your little hunting spree. But it does look like it's all safe over here, but don't let that fool you. There are actually power wild the power wilds you need to fight, and they're in this window, so just hop through and start beating their ass. As per usual. There's nothing new about what we're doing, unfortunately. Ow. So, while I'm sitting here, I've been streaming Birth by Sleep, and I was kind of just thinking, how the hell am I going to stream, or how am I going to record Birth by Sleep? Like, how am I going to go about doing that as a Let's Play? Because it's a really grind-heavy game, and, like, I want to show the boss fights off, but the boss fights are kind of uh, ungraceful, if, if that's a way I can put that. How do you guys feel about that? Like, I feel like Birth by Sleep's boss fights, like, got a little bit, again, ungraceful. I don't know if that's a good word to use, but uh, I think we are pretty much done. We went to everywhere that we could to get the, protect the monkeys. Now we just need to go back to the tent, which we're going to use the shortcut again. I'm sorry. We're not doing that mini game yet because it's pointless. It's pointless, I say. It's cool, but it's pointless. Oh, boy. Yeah, yeah. We're back, but don't get comfortable because there's going to be another group of Heartless to fight in this next room, so, you know. Oh, nope. This is a special Heartless, which requires you to play a little mini game. You watch which one jumped, and then you have to follow the Heartless and try to figure out which one's the right one. And if you get it wrong, you'll get electrocuted, so I'm going to try and do this mini game, even though it's going to be a pain in the dick. That one right here, I think? Boop. Yep. We'll get more tech points the more we get correct. So I just have to focus. That one was actually rather easy. It's you. No, it's not. No, it's not. Ow. And Donald's dead. Okay. This one? If I get this wrong, yep, fuck it. I don't know what you get for doing that minigame, but it's a pain in the ass because they go... They go far enough off the screen to where it's hard to follow them with your eye, so fuck it. Uh, here we have more of these guys, but we can't do anything with them. They are white mushrooms, and they are rel relatively rare. Uh, if you want a hint on how to find the, the white mushrooms, if you go two screens away from where they spawn, which this is a place where they spawn, obviously, or that place in Wonderland, if you recall, uh, you go two screens away, and then you come back, and they have a chance of spawning. If they don't spawn, just repeat the process and keep doing that until you get what you want. But for now, we need to go in the tent and heal up, because holy hell, that stupid minigame. That minigame killed Donald. That was fucked up, bro. But walking into the tent and then walking out will trigger something. And a gunshot came from over here, so that was pretty bad. Let's go find out what's happening. Oh, great. Another boss fight with Sabor. All right, Sabor. So what round is this again? <laughs> yeah, same tactics apply. Wait for her to swipe and then attack. Or you can just shoot magic at her if you're beat if you feel so inclined, which sometimes I do, because, you know, magic does a lot of damage. And sometimes I want to get in there and actually hit you, but I can't. Goofy keeps trying to knock her away. But if you can get to her into a... To ah, if you can get her into a corner like I just did, uh, you can actually keep hitting her in succession. Shoot some ice at you. Oh, you're going to try and claw me, little butthead. Use that slap shot, and booyah! Obtain the White Fang. Fantastic. And Sabor is down for good. Uh, if you were having trouble with Sabor for whatever reason up to this point, there are no more Sabors. <laughs> or Sabor. It's a single entity. And more, more, the uh, power wilds, of course. They're never gonna let me live. 
They're just gonna make they're gonna tempt me with their leveling ups. But I just leveled up, so I'm not I'm not gonna worry about fighting these guys. I'm just gonna skip it. I don't need to grind anymore. I don't think I'll get anything relative. Oh look, these guys are spawned back again. That's fantastic. But uh leveling up isn't gonna help me for the boss fight coming up. Uh I think we need to go in here to trigger the cutscene. Obviously. Obviously, because they were in here. Hey, where's Jane? What's wrong, Tarzan? Something's coming. Oh, something coming. Jane, danger. Jane, near. Near treehouse. Sounds like trouble. Let's go. And, of course, just like that, we are back into a new area. Which is in the treetops. Fantastic. But, thankfully, we know how to skip most of the annoying stuff. Again, ignore these guys. Not worried about fighting them right now. Now that I think about it, mostly I think I can just grind off screen. Uh, I think I can get through most of the game relatively comfortably without fighting most of the enemies, but to be sure, I'm probably still going to just kill. If I come into a room full of Heartless that are easy to kill that give me a decent amount of experience, I'm still probably going to go about that route, you know? I mean, sorry. Sorry there's going to be a lot of jump cuts. Uh... <laughs> I guess I'll just apologize ahead of time, but we are up here again, and we're probably about to get a cutscene, if I'm not mistaken, so I'll probably just shut up and let you enjoy it. Tarzan! The big black fruit looks, suspi blah, looks suspicious. Ignore the power wilds. And lock onto the monkeys and then use the switch target until you get to the uh, the grapefruit and just beat the crap out of this grapefruit. Ignore the power wilds, beat the crap out of the grapefruit. And there you go. Clayton came to the tent and that's the last thing I remember. Clayton? Gorillas trapped. Turk ran. We must help the gorillas. You're darn straight. So, uh, <laughs> this episode is probably going to go on a little longer than normal because we are really, we're literally like right next to the final boss. Spoiler alert. And I, I don't want to let the next episode be a boss and then the start of a new world. So, just to clear things up, I'm going to go ahead and do the boss fight because why not? We can go on a couple extra minutes. You guys don't mind. I assume you guys don't mind. I probably shouldn't do that because when you assume, you make an ass out of you and me. Which is bad. But, you know, boss fight. Everybody likes a good boss fight. Ignore the stupid power wilds. Donald and Goofy are not going to ignore them and they're going to waste their mana, which is bad. But at the same time, it doesn't matter because Donald and Goofy die at the beginning of the game relatively quickly. Anyway, so they're teammates, but only in name at the beginning of the game. They are relatively useless. Alright, so I'm going to lose a little bit of time here, but I forgot to switch my partner to Tarzan, but we're going to go and customize him a little bit, I think, if we can do that. Uh, regular attacks, constantly. Special attacks, uh, occasionally. Defense, constantly. Uh, only in emergencies, those don't really work. Uh, so you're going to want to have his defense up so he applies all these cool spells to you. And then you're going to want it constantly on regular attack so he keeps beating the crap out of stuff. And then for Goofy, you can really just leave him alone. He's, uh, you know, there's not really much you can do to make him better. Uh, we can equip him, however, with a bunch of stuff that I found, which is, you know, pretty sweet. Protect chain, protectora. Oh, wait, we can just give him two of those, can't we? Oh, no, we can't. Never mind. Never mind, I lied. Oh, we also don't have a <laughs> Uh, Brave Warrior White Bang is better than that, I think. Maybe, yeah. And this one gives me more strength, but takes away defense. Uh, oh, it also gives me health, apparently. I don't think that really matters, though. I'm going to keep the defense. So, with that, we're equipped and we're prepared to go fight Clayton again. Uh, I'm just going to start over fresh and cut out the last fight that I did with him. Because, uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I forgot to switch to Tarzan, and now I don't know how much time I've actually wasted during this uh, recording. So, that's going to be fun to edit. But with that, we're starting the cutscene all over again, so here we go.
Clayton. Not Clayton. <laughs> Not Clayton. Yeah, he totally wasn't obviously evil or anything. <laughs> but here we go. This is actually my third round fighting Clayton. I made the mistake of taking Donald and Goofy with me into this fight instead of Tarzan, and Tarzan makes this fight so much easier. But like I said in the first go, are you ready for the funniest scene in the game? That's not the funny scene. That was actually kind of terrifying. Take it away, Tarzan. <laughs> Okay, so this boss fight is kind of a doozy, especially at this point in the game. Freaking Kerchak, or not Kerchak, sorry. Clayton is riding something invisible. So what you're going to want to do is beat the crap out of him as fast as possible to knock him off of that thing. So just keep wailing on him. Tarzan is much stronger than Donald, so that's always a plus. And Goofy is definitely much stronger than Donald. He got stuck in a little jumping animation there, so that's fantastic. Knock him off and immediately start going for Clayton. If you can, ignore the piss out of the uh, chameleon, because the chameleon takes a lot of hits, he can take a lot of punishment, and it's just not worth the going for him, especially if you haven't leveled up at this point in time. I think the recommended level for this part is, uh, like level 20, and I'm like level 15 or something, so this is definitely not a, a bueno place to be. Tarzan has given me Arrow, which gives me a defense. It's a defensive spell, obviously. So that's fantastic. Oh, shit, shit, shit. Do not let him heal. Just beat the shit out of him. I'm gonna go ahead and use a potion. Because I'm scared and I don't want to lose all my health and die. Even though I have arrow. Arrow is a fantastic... Oh, I don't have it anymore. That's a lie. There we go. That's more like it. Attain the power of healing. Learn the magic spell Cure. Tarzan home. I'm not going to toot my own horn, but I think Kerchek likes me. <laughs> oh boy, but now we, uh, we're done with that boss fight. So, I lost to Clayton twice, and I couldn't figure out why I was dying, and it was pissing me off, because this is a let's play, and I'm trying to be professional, and losing is kind of unprofessional. I mean, it, it happens. Like, dying happens sometimes. Sometimes it's a cheap shot, and, you know, whatever. But... I was dying pretty hard, like I could not kill Clayton and the chameleon fast enough and I was like, what the hell is going on right now? Uh, and then I realized my mistake, I brought Donald and Goofy into a fight. And Donald and Goofy, at this point in the game, blow dick. Especially Donald and Goofy, especially Donald and Goofy as a pair right now are not very good. You always want to take the uh, Disney partner with you to help do more damage because Donald, right now, is literally the worst possible partner you could ever have. As bad as that may sound. I'm sorry if you like Donald, but like, if you're a Kingdom Hearts fan, it it's a running gag that Donald just sucks dick. He just does. He's the worst. He's the reason why... I, oh, okay, uh, cool. Thanks for grabbing on, Sora. 
He's the reason why I lost that boss fight twice. Because he just kept dying. And then once both Donald and Goofy are dead, of course they're going to start focusing all their attacks on Sora. Which is when, you know, Sora dies. But Tarzan is so much better. Like, look at Tarzan. He's level 21 with Goofy and Donald's level 16. Tarzan is so much stronger than Donald. Having him makes all the difference. Plus, he can cast an uh, arrow on you, which is fan. Fantastic. It, it's basically like more defense. This is your home? But that means... Huh? Ooh. Oh. The waterfalls. They're echoing all the way here. <laughs> Friends there. See friends. Oh, now I've got it. Eh, ooh, 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 ah, means heart. Friends in our hearts. Mm, heart. Oh, so that's what it meant. Friends, same heart. Clayton, lose heart. No heart, no see friends. No heart. No friends. Sorry about what I said. I'm Charlie Cole. Uh, yeah, all yeah, for one, huh? But it's sure not the king's. I think someone has a new admirer. No, 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 no! Did you even kill me? Obtain the Nabby G piece. What drew the Heartless to that world? The Hunter lured them there. It was his lust for power that was the bait. But it seems the bait was too tasty for his own good. <laughs> yeah, he got chopped instead. Hmm. A weak-hearted fool like him stood no chance against the Heartless. But the boy is a problem. He found one of the keyholes. Fear not. It will take him ages to find the rest. Besides, he remains blissfully unaware of our other two. Yes, the princesses. They are falling into our hands, one by one. Speaking of which... Well, guess we better get going. Where is your ship, anyway? Uh, well, uh, not too far. Sora, Tarzan, friends. Sora obtained the Jungle King. Upgrade the Keyblade with Keychains. Different Keychains will add different effects to your Keyblade. Access the Equipment menu to use the Keychain. So we can change our Keyblades now. Hooray! Learned Red Trinity. Fantastic. The gummy block that came out of the glowing hole. It's not like the others. Wonder what it's used for. I don't know. Maybe Leon will know. Hmm. He might. Back to Traverse Town, then. I want to be pilot. Hey, stop it. Oh, come on. I'm the Keyblade Master. I don't care who you are. No. Here we go again.
<laughs> Alright, holy cow, there's a lot of cutscenes in this episode, and it's really long, and I apologize if you don't like that, but you know, say lobby and all that good noise, but no more talking. A hero's work is never done. Join me again next time as we continue to tackle Kingdom Hearts Final Mix. Later days, everybody.